Good morning. It is the start of the reading rush. It is before work right now on Monday, July 22nd, and I'm about to download the audiobook for The Hate You Give so I can listen to it on my way to work. On the queue for today, I'm going to be reading Waiting for Spring Volume 1, I think, and I'll probably just stay in the same spot the whole time to read it because it's a manga, it's gonna go super quick, and I'm really, really excited to read this because Patty got it for me, it's my first ever manga, so it'll be interesting to try and get used to the style of reading it. But yes, I'm just all about books this week, and I have a lot of like fun comics and graphic novels, and then I have like one big fantasy novel that I'm also maybe gonna start tonight. That's it for now. Okay, reading rush. Day one, the first thing is to take a picture of a flying book. So this is just gonna be some interesting footage of me and Alex attempting to do this. <laughs> and Alex just looks pissed that he gets roped into this. I'm not doing anything. Yes you are. You're gonna help me. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Did that work? I'm just gonna hold it like this. And then three, two, one. Ready? <clears throat> and three, two, one. <laughs> okay. How did that come out? Oh god, are they bad? Hold it. <laughs> oh no. get the book in the photo when I lift it. So it's, you want it like here. Three, two, one. I wish you could change the laws of physics. <laughs> so that was me failing at the video, at the uh, whatever challenge, the Instagram challenge. Maybe I found something good, I don't know. But I'm just making dinner, I'm watching booktube, I've been reading The Hate You Give, I'm on chapter five. I like made this whole like page tracker thing because Scrib doesn't give you overall percentages, which is annoying, but I need to be able to track it to accurately track my um, page count every day. But I'm going to be reading, waiting for spring tonight, and I think mangas are like pretty easy to get through in one night. And then we'll see what else. For read a book with purple on the cover, I have Waiting for Spring, volume one, then for Reading a book in the same spot, I was going to do Saga or Waiting for Spring, but I decided I'm gonna do the Tea Dragon Festival because I got an e-arc of it on NetGalley and that one is like on my computer. It's super simple to scroll through. I don't think it's gonna take me long to read it all. Then for a book with a non-human main character, I'm reading Saga volume one. Wait, what am I reading? Then, oh, a book I meant to read last year is gonna be Onyx and Ivory by Mindy Arnett. And it's funny. Maddie bought me both Waiting for Spring Volume 1 and Onyx and Ivory by Mini Ornette. So, um, Reading Rush TBR sponsored by Maddie. Then, I also, for an author's debut work, I'm reading The Hate You Give, which I started the audiobook for. Book to movie adaptation, I could use The Hate You Give, or if I have time, I'm going to be reading Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief or whatever. And then, I'm reading Waiting for Spring Volume 2. I don't even remember what the challenge for that one is, but that's going to be my seventh book. So it's mostly comics and stuff, and then I have one fantasy novel, one big audiobook in there, and like a middle grade. So I think that's very doable to be able to do this in a week while working full time and having an extra day of work. We will see. I'm not vlogging every single day to post, but I'm going to be trying to do like one weekly vlog at the end because otherwise I would lose my sanity. So stick around tonight for some updates on how I'm going with my reading and I'm gonna be doing some bullet journaling, I think, because I have some fun reading rush related ideas. See you in the next clip. All right, it's about 10.53 at night and I finished my first book. This was Waiting for Spring, volume one by Anishin and it's the first ever manga I've ever read and it was really cute. I don't really know how I'm gonna rate mangas or how to rate them, so I don't really know what I wanna rate it, but it was adorable and it did take me a little bit to get settled into how to read mangas because it is like the opposite direction of everything I've been reading in my life ever. But it was surprisingly easy to get into after the first few pages and it was just really adorable and sweet and cute and I needed that in my life and it also read really quickly. So yeah, that is Book with Purple on the cover completed. 
because his jacket is purple. And now I need to do the video challenge, which is to draw a book character in 30 seconds. That could be entertaining. And then I want to do a bullet journal spread because I can't stop. And then I think I'm going to read a little bit of Onyx and Ivory. So let's begin. Okay, so I'm about to do the challenge for drawing a book character in 30 seconds. And I'm going to draw Buckbeak from Harry Potter. So let's see how this goes. Um, I'm a horrible artist. This isn't going to come out well. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> okay, so I have zero artistic skills. Zero zilt data. I don't know what this is. It literally looks like a potato with a chicken's head. So, um, that's butt beak. What a grand old time. Now, what I'm gonna do something that I have slightly more skill with just because I practice, and that's bullet journaling. And I saw, I feel like I get all my ideas from Chloe. Thank you, Chloe, for giving me ideas for my bullet journal that she's doing like a badge tracker for the rain rush and that sounds like an amazing idea. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I also wanna do like a reading rush weekly spread. Use that as like my way of tracking, like doing the video challenges and the Instagram challenges. And of course I'm gonna be listening to BTS while I do this because I can't stop on stuff. Reading journaling is my new thing. Like I'm so obsessed with it. Second day of the reading rush. Again, checking in before work. And I've been listening to the audiobook for The Hate You Give. And I'm on chapter six. It's really good. I've been going kind of like through an audiobook slump lately where I like was listening to a lot of audiobooks and then I kind of stopped. But now I'm like, this audiobook is really good. So I just think I need to find the right audiobooks for my commute. I also might like go back and forth between listening to audiobooks on my commute and reading on my kindle on my commute because both are like pretty fun although i can get further with an audiobook because i have time where i'm walking that i can't read my kindle and walk at the same time but yeah so far so good uh my total at the end of yesterday ended up being 258 pages i read waiting for spring and some of the hate you give and tonight i'm planning on reading the tea dragon festival and starting onyx and ivory hello it is nighttime now on Tuesday. I just read the Tea Dragon Festival. I got an eorc on Neck Alley and after reading Tea Dragon Society last week, I think it was, I was so excited to get it and like, oh my gosh, so cute. And the chamomile tea dragon is a whole mood. Like it's so sassy and grumpy or I think it's the mountain chamomile tea dragon. I need one and chamomile is like my favorite tea. So much so that I was inspired to make a cup of chamomile tea by this wonderful chamomile tea dragon. Oh, I love it. I drink chamomile so much when I'm reading. Now oh, it's burning me. That um, I just associate it with reading. Also, this candle that I have, this is like the fourth candle that I have with this scent, but when I light it, I feel like I'm in reader mode because I always light it when I'm reading. Now I associate the scent with reading. Oh my God. Why do I sniff so many things on this channel? Who knows? So yeah, I read the Tea Dragon Festival. It did not take a long time to read it all. I think going with a lot of mangas and graphic novels, this reading rush was a good way to go. Speaking of, I have an Amazon package. And guess what's in here? Waiting for Spring Volume 2. Yes, this was already open because I was getting other stuff in the mail and I opened it and I'm like, 
oh no i need to buy this on my channel yeah i don't know i just have a feeling i'm gonna want all of these mangas and like thanks maddie for getting me into manga you have converted me as i said before tbr sponsored by maddie because the other book that i'm going to be reading is onyx and ivory by mindy arnett which maddie got me for christmas um maddie when are you gonna read the books that i bought you i would like to know <laughs> peer pressure so i had seen this around but i wasn't sure about it and then when i did my booktube's favorite book of 2018 collab project maddie submitted a clip and she's like onyx and ivory is my favorite book of 2018 and i'm like damn i guess i gotta get on it and then she sent me this book so i really gotta get on it and this is for the one that i meant to read last year because i did mean to read it in like december when she bought it and december is uh 2018 so it counts and she also says that it is similar to crown of coral and pearl that she just read and loved and maddie's hyping that book up so much to me crown of coral and pearl i didn't think i was gonna read it until she was like this book is amazing and i'm like well now i have to read it so with that being said i'm gonna curl up and relax and read this and i am obviously not gonna try and finish this in a day that would be ridiculous it's like 400 over 400 pages almost 500 so i'm just gonna just gonna try and re make a little bit and what's cool is I have on my table this little pile of books that is my Reading Rush physical PBR. And they're just there taunting me. And of course, I also have the Tea Dragon Festival, which I read on my computer because it was an e-arc. And The Hate You Give, which is an audiobook. Which, wouldn't it be helpful to say the progress I'm making on that audiobook because I'm that's part of the reading rush too. Okay, so I'm on chapter 10 of 28. So it says I have seven hours left and it's an 11 hour, 40 minute audiobook. So seven divided by 11 point, we'll say seven, five. So I'm about 40% of the way through. So that's pretty good, making good progress. This is only my second day reading it and it's actually really emotional so far. The thing I really like about Scribd is they have such a good selection and I was using Libby a lot through my library and I have a Boston library card and a Florida library card and once I went through like all of their old like backlist titles I found that the issue was that they don't have a lot of newer titles or like if it is a title that I'm interested in I can't listen to it right away and then it sucks you're like on a wait list for a book and then you either like are listening to something else at the time or whatnot so I use a combination of Scribd and Libby just because I was finding that like I was going a while without listening to an audiobook with Libby because I was on wait list for a lot of stuff once I went through all of the selections I was interested in that didn't have a long wait but I am a new audiobook reader I've only been listening to them for about like a year now and at first I was using audible but I just found that like you only get one a month so Scribd is really the thing that I like to use the most and then also supplementing that with Libby and I do have a link to Scribd in the description below if you would like to use it you get a free month and then i get a free month which is cool but i'm gonna pay for it regardless this isn't like a link that i'm like an affiliate for or anything like that like anyone that has a script account can have one of these links but i mean if you want to try it i would definitely recommend because i found you it says in limited audiobooks but you are really limited you can't download more than three a month but I don't find that I'm actually listening to more than three a month, or if I did, it would probably be on a combination of Libby and Script. But Libby is also amazing. Please check that out through your library, and I think your experience with Libby can just depend on your library selection, but in terms of like the actual app itself and the fact that it's been able to bring libraries into the digital age is so amazing because I use the library all the time through Libby, but I don't actually go there all the time, you know? So check those resources out for listening to your audiobooks it's a good way to get some listening in and i find that so the thing with audiobooks that i think that you kind of need to get into them if you're someone that's new to audiobooks and you want to get into them is you need time where you're doing something that is sort of like passive but you wouldn't be doing anything else so like a drive a commute chores maybe like a workout or something like a light workout if i was dying on the treadmill would i be able to listen to an audiobook <laughs> probably not but um i've heard people that run really long distances like to listen to audiobooks that maybe like a slower pace it's active listening so you're engaged with the story and you're listening but i find that i can't do that i can't just like sit on the couch and listen to an audiobook i just 
like it's not to me the same experience as reading physically but if i was like bullet journaling listening to an audiobook doing something else listening to an audiobook i always listen to them on my commute getting ready for work stuff like that i think that's a really good time to fit in audiobooks and i don't like to pressure myself to any time period of like oh i have to listen to this for like a long time today just listening here and there when you have time or you're doing something else it's a good way to get it in and then when i get really hooked in the audiobooks i find that i'm like doing stuff like doing chores and stuff like that so i can be doing something while i'm listening to it so it actually helps me with my productivity sometimes i'll like be like oh well i want to keep listening to the audiobook so like i'm just gonna clean my apartment so you know hidden benefits of audiobooks now that i've gone on a long-winded rant i'm just gonna start this no expectations of myself to read a big chunk of this because my plan is to read this slowly throughout the week it is only day two i have until sunday to read this totally doable and then the only other big like chunky book that i need to read is percy jackson and the olympians which is a middle grade so that should read pretty easy so i don't have to pressure myself to read this guy like super quick because i i literally last year during the reading rush i was so burnt out because i was reading like i read seven full length novels or i think one of them was a poetry book but like i remember I tried to read The Assassin's Blade like the last day and I woke up and I read the entire day and like it was fun and it was like for the challenge and stuff but like would I have liked to consume it that way? I don't know. So you just have to structure your readathons so that you can hit the goals that you want to hit in a way that is conducive to your life. And that is Life Lessons with Katie. It's now Thursday. I didn't vlog at all yesterday because I was exhausted and I barely got any reading done besides my audiobook for the Hit You Give. I'm really enjoying the audiobook. It's so good and it's just really emotional and powerful and I think, let's see, I'm about 47% of the way through and it's Thursday so I can definitely probably finish this by the end of the week but I don't try to rush through audiobooks because i just listen to them on my commute or when i'm doing something else so sometimes i don't read them super quick which is totally fine you know just live life as you need to live life and then that this is like my big fantasy book of the week and i knew i wasn't going to be able to get through like more than one of a big fantasy book because i just have a busy week and it's also the reading rush so it's crazy but i'm on page 75 now and yesterday i was on page 50 so i read 25 pages and then I literally fell asleep on the couch. I was listening to an ASMR room and honestly that put me to sleep So I was just like I'm gonna be well rested tomorrow and I went to bed so I didn't get any reading done Re Or barely any reading done and then today I kind of have a busy day after work. I have to go to the gym and then I have to edit a video So like that usually does not leave much time for reading So I think tomorrow what I'm gonna do is come home from work. It's Friday just chill and read all night read all day saturday and then i do have to work for a bit on sunday and then we will see hello it's thursday night now it's like 11 and i'm just getting started reading although i've been reading my audiobook i'm at 71 percent of the hate you give it's honestly so good and really powerful and i'll hopefully probably finish that tomorrow my current rate is i read an audiobook about a week i want to make a dent in onyx and ivory because and i think i really want to be reading this mostly friday night and all saturday and then also read waiting for spring saga all that which those are comics and manga they don't take me that long but still i do want to make a dent in this because i'm really enjoying it so far i just haven't had time so hopefully i can get i think i want to try and read 100 pages before i go to bed but i don't know Okay, so I'm not doing that great with the video challenges, but whatever. But I do have a bookish-inspired food or drink item, and I am inspired by Cersei from Game of Thrones. So I poured myself a nice glass of wine. 
And that's what I call lazy booktubing. But I have been keeping up with the bookstagram challenges. I even got my mom to take pictures with my dogs because my dogs are with my parents in Florida. So I was like, you need to get a book and you need to take a picture of the dogs with the book. And she did it and she did it well. And I'm proud of my mom for being a bookstagram homie. So yes, now, now it is time to read. Okay, I got to page 152, which is the start of part two. So that seems like a pretty good time to call it a night. So good night. Hello. So this is my Friday night check-in and I'm listening to an ASMR room, of course. It's my new obsession and reading Onyx and Ivory. I'm on page 203 and last night I left off at page 255 so I think I'm gonna get to the 100 pages red mark and then I'm gonna take a little break and I'm gonna listen to the end of the hate you gave on audio while cleaning my kitchen because it needs to be cleaned and then maybe watch some booktube do some journaling and then I'll decide if I want to start and read waiting for spring volume 2 or saga and then after all that if I'm still awake I will read some more of this and then all day tomorrow is going to be reading this and The Lightning Thief and those are my plans and I'm going to hopefully get up to some booktube shenanigans later today like doing some of the challenges in the past few days. Hello, it's Saturday. What day is it? Saturday? I always do this. Saturday, July 27th. So this is day six of the reading rush and I need to do some serious catching up today. It's already like five o'clock. And so far today I slept in late because that's what I like to do on Saturdays. And I've been reading Onyx and Ivory. I'm on page like 312 of 500 now and I'm really enjoying it. And I read Saga last night. So my plans for today are to catch up on doing the Instagram and youtube challenges so i'm gonna do like a bunch just today and then um so right now i'm doing my makeup because i also want to film a video for next week right now so i have wicked fox right here which is my book of the month for july which use my code down in the description if you would like to purchase the first box for 10 bucks and i'm really excited that i got this so i wanted to do a makeup look inspired by this which if you saw christina marie's challenge this is the book she used as well but i was already planning on doing a purple and pink look so this just fits perfectly so yeah i'm just gonna jam out to bts and do my makeup and i'll be using my morphe x james charles palette because this is my favorite and then we will get on to more bookish things <laughs> This is the completed makeup look. I also put on these little gems because they matched. I hope they don't look silly, but I like them. And this is my Wicked Fox inspired makeup look. And I hope to get to this book soon because it seems really cool and really awesome. And it's my book of the month book. So I really want to read it because I'm just really excited to be working with that company. So, but in the meantime, last night I read Saga. I read all of it. Comics are actually, or graphic novels rather, are so quick to get through. I got through this in like, not that long. It's a little 
weird and it's definitely setting up the world building but it's a very imaginative sci-fi like the creatures in here and i'm excited to continue on with this in the future then now i've been reading onyx and ivory last night i got up to like 229 and now i'm like i said on about 315 so i'm about 68 percent of the way through and my plan is to hopefully get through the rest of this tonight while i have time watch the movie for the hate you give and then read waiting for spring so that is a lot to deal with and then tomorrow i'm working but i also want to spend the time that i'm not working on reading percy jackson and the lightning thief and then maybe also watching that movie because nostalgia so i it's already 5 30 because i like to sleep late and wake up late so we'll see what i can get done but i'm a pretty fast reader and i'm getting through this and i'm kind of like reading it in bursts and sprints throughout the day so that i don't like get too tired and i'm also going to be filming a video at some point like a full sit down video so i need to do that but hopefully it won't take too long but i also got some book mail so let's open it up so my grandma said she was sending me a book and i know what book is in here but i'm feeling the package and it's two books my grandma is really the only other reader in my family but she reads mostly like contemporary literary fiction and mysteries she's not a ya reader because she's 76 years old not saying that you can't be a YA reader at 76 years old but let's see what she sent me because it's definitely going to be interesting and not what I would normally read okay so it says on here both good reads xxx nana so she sent me the paperback of turtles all the way down by John Green and she like had texted me my grandma knows how to text now and she's like there's this really popular young adult uh, author called John Green have you heard of him and I'm like nana how have I not heard of John Green? <laughs> like, I read The Fault in Our Stars like forever ago. You know, this is maybe one that I would have thought to pick up on audio, but now because my grandma gave me this book, I will probably read it physically. And she said she bought a copy for both me and my sister. And it's actually thinner than I thought because I've only really seen the hardback, but I like the feel of this paperback. So when I'm in the mood for contemporary, I can reach for that. And then she also sent me this book that I literally have no idea what it is, but it's Before We Were Yo Yours by Lisa Wingate. And it has these two young girls on the cover. So I'm assuming she sent this to me because it reminded me of, of me and my sister. So it says, in this poignant novel described by a true story, Inspired by a true story, two families generations apart are forever changed by heartbreaking injustice. It takes place in Memphis, 1939. This girl lives a life aboard a Mississippi River shanty boat, and then she's thrown into the Tennessee Children's Home Society orphanage. And then this takes place in South Carolina, present day, where this woman discovers dark truths about her family. And then this is based on a notorious real life scandal where a director of a Memphis based adoption organization kidnapped and sold poor children to wealthy families all over the country that is quite interesting so this is like a historical fiction novel i don't normally read those but my grandma has sent me some historical fiction novels in the past that were pretty good so i trust her recommendations because this is mostly what she reads and if it's good enough for her to send in my way then it's probably pretty good so yeah so that's unexpected but pretty cool and i knew she was sending me this one but i didn't know she was sending me this one so that's awesome i got to text i have to text her and tell her thank you because she will probably start pestering me did you get my package yet that's what grandma's do. and i'm so happy that i have a grandma that reads and she she sent me a text the other day she's like i just saw your book nook video you recommended crazy rich asians which i gave to you or like she said you mentioned me in your book nook and I said, I did, because you gave me the book. <laughs> She's so cute. So I think the next challenge that I want to conquer is the showing off your reading nook challenge because I have it pretty much all set up right here. So let's get to it. Okay, so here is my reading nook. This is my couch along with my bookshelves here. And then I have my Reading Rush TBR on my one coffee table and I have a little bullet journal set up on the other table because I was watching YouTube videos about BTS while bullet journaling last night and I have my ASMR rooms on right now which is just setting the mood for reading. It's so nice having it up on the TV while I read. It's my new favorite thing. This is Picnic at Hogwarts or something like that. And this is literally just where I sit. I have this little Gryffindor scarf because even though I'm a Ravenclaw, when I was 
at Harry Potter World for the first time. I was still in denial and wanted to be a Gryffindor just like Hermione. And yeah, these are just my shelves. I have my book of the month box up there, some random German figurines Alex put up there. We can ignore them. My sign that says Katie's Library and some box sets. And then here are the shelves. And so with that, now I'm going to read and I will take you along and you can see me read in my reading nook. Alright, so now I'm going to do today's challenge and if you hear some background noise, I have an ASMR room on because my neighbors are really freaking loud. So I'm trying to drown out the noise because I'm very annoyed for you. So I'm here to do today's challenge, which is to spell out your name by getting book spines of the same color. So I'm very limited because K is not as common in book titles. So let's just go for it. I do only have five letters, so it might be okay. It might not be okay. I'm going to time it, but I don't know. We'll see. And I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna be like super strict with the colors, like if they're in the same general color family, I'm okay with that. So let us begin to the stopwatch and go. All right, this one's popping out of me first. We have King of Scars. So anything King is gonna start with K. Yellow is kind of a hard color, but um, first we have Kingdom of Ash. Next is A, which it should be relatively easy, right? So for this one, I'm gonna do A Night at Seven Kingdoms by George R. R. Martin, which the top half is like yellow and it's orangish, reddish, which like orange, reds, yellows, I think are gonna be all in the same color family for this challenge. T, another one that maybe shouldn't be too bad, the priori of the orange tree. Next is I, which will be hard. Do I even have any books that start with I? The vowels are hard. Oh, yes, perfect, oh my God. Illuminate, yes, Illuminate. Ooh, okay, only E. E might also be hard because vowels are hard as we've established. Okay, and for this one, I'm gonna do an ember in the ashes because the text is all yellow and it's like kind of the same color family. So I think they look good together. So let's see, we have K. Oh, wait, what's my time? Three minutes, 50 seconds. Well, I failed that, but A. T. I. E. So. They all blend together pretty nicely, and I'm actually surprised that I could do that since I have three vowels in my name. That would be pretty hard, but you know, this last one is questionable, but I think it works enough. And um, I wonder if I could do Catherine. Ooh, okay, so challenge myself. Let's see if I can spell it Catherine, which is my full name. So I need an H. So for this one, it's going to be Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. This is for R. It's definitely a bit of a stretch, but we'll do Nevernight because it has red here. And then I need one more. Oh, E could be Enchantment of Ravens. So let me lay these out to spell my name. Okay, well, here you have it. Catherine spelt out in book titles. I really love this. Tonight, I mean, if I'm being really ambitious, I will finish Onyx and Ivory, but will I actually do that? I don't know. It's like already 8.20. But I've gotten like almost 100 pages so far today just reading it on and off, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna have like a lot of pages today because, well, it's Saturday, so, because I already read, I read Saga after midnight, so I'm considering that Saturday, and then I think I will try and knock out Waiting for Spring Volume 2, and then if I finish both of those, the only thing that I have to do is finish the Hate You Give audiobook, which will take me about like 25 minutes, so when I go to, into work tomorrow, that will be like my commute book, and then, uh, Maybe I can read Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief in like a day. Maybe I'd finish, I could start it tonight, but that is so ambitious. Like, I don't even know if I could do that, but maybe I'll like start it on audio while I'm bullet journaling. I don't know, because I also want to watch YouTube while I bullet journal. This vlog, I realize, is going to be so long, so it should be fun to edit, which I also need to start editing it. So I have a lot to do, but I'm like still relaxed and happy because I'm excited to be doing all of these challenges and I think I was gonna double post for the two challenges today which I might still just like post one after the other because like who cares about the unofficial Instagram rules am I right am I right oh and I'm gonna put on a candle and just like enjoy my night reading I love reading next to my bookshelf it's just like the most thing ever 
um yeah and i'm like really getting into it now like we're uncovering some conspiracies and some romance is happening because madison got me this for christmas she sent me some lovely notes uh, she also got me a Dumbledore Funko Pop, but I just glued both of these in here, which I got that as an idea from Angela over at Blum Books, and I just think it's like the perfect way, because if I just like keep these in the book, they always fall out, so I glued them in, so I will never lose the beautiful message that was sent with it. Okay, so I am now on page 367 of Onyx and Ivory, and I'm going to take a break from that and pick up waiting for spring volume two which should not take me that long to read mangas are pretty quick to read because they're like comics so with that being said it's like 9 45 and then i was thinking about the lightning thief because i do want to read seven books i don't want to stress myself out about this readathon unnecessarily but this is what happened last year too where i was like literally reading down to the wire because i just like i think i caught up and this is like 300 something pages so like it wouldn't be impossible to read in a day and also it's middle grade so i'm sure it reads quick but since i'm doing all lab work tomorrow and work um i have like i can listen to stuff and work at the same time so i just downloaded the audiobook for this and i think what i will do is when i'll finish the audiobook for the hate you give like easy on my ride in and then i think while i'm working i will listen to this audiobook also it's middle grade so i don't feel like i need to pay like super i obviously need to pay attention but like um i just think it'll be easy listening and i'll be at work for like a good chunk of time so i think that is how i will like manage to get all seven books in because i really want to i don't think i'll get to watching the movie in this time period because it's already like 9 30 and i need to read more books but i'm still gonna count it anyways and just watch the movie later okay i'll just do my two bookish streets in a line now because i never did that but i want to do all the challenges because it would be the only one that i haven't done yet even though i'm like fake some of the others so i'm gonna say three fun facts and you can guess which one is the lie i'll say which one is the lie at the end but my first fun fact is that i've taken a nap in the roman coliseum my second fun fact is that i came in first place in both of the powerlifting competitions that i've done in my weight class and the third fun fact is that i once got a paper cut on my eye and had to wear an ipad so those are all very random fun facts but i think those are the funnest kinds of facts you know so it's now like one in the morning and i finished waiting for spring volume two so cute i'm definitely gonna need to continue on with this series soon because it's just really fun to read mangas are so cute and adorable and then i'm reading onyx and ivory and it is getting good shit is going down and i'm on page 419 so i have about 80 pages to read tomorrow which is totally doable and then the only other book, well, I have to finish the audiobook for The Hate You Give, but I have like barely any left. And then I'm going to listen to the audiobook for Percy Jackson. Hello, I have fun book-related news because it is the last day of the reading rush and I only have 75 pages of my last book to read. So yesterday I said I was going to be listening to the audiobook of Percy Jackson and The Olympian, The Lightning Thief. When I was at work today, I read like 80% of Percy Jackson um, while I was at work, I was at work for like five hours and the audiobook is five hours and I wasn't listening to it like the whole time So then I came home and I just finished like the last two or three chapters and it was a really good thing to listen to at work Because since it is middle grade and it's very easy to read um, It was something that was really good to listen to while I was multitasking because I was doing tasks Obviously, that's why I went to work. So yeah, I mean, I'm just really excited. I read this series when I was little and I think it was probably around the time that the first movie came out because Melissa was obsessed with Logan Lerman and I think she got me into reading this. And my sister also really liked Percy Jackson and I've always been a fan of Greek mythology and I think that fun stories like this are a good way to learn it. So I'm excited to continue on with the series. I do have the box set I got on Amazon just because like best bang for your buck. So I will continue on with that. I think I'm probably gonna give that one like four stars. Last night where I left off with Onyx and Ivory, I am on page 419 and it is 500 pages on the dot, I think. I have some mail. Mail time is the best time. I am so excited about these two packages, like just recent purchases that I made and you'll see what they are. They're like slightly bookish, not really, but okay. 
whatever could this fluffy package be? Let's open it. It's very soft. Oh, interesting material. Oh, so cute. And it, it said to order up a few sizes, so I ordered a large, and it's gonna be like nice and comfy and like cozy. So it says love yourself on the front, and it has this thing on the side, and on the back it says BTS, and it's on Amazon. I, it's probably like not official merch, it's a knockoff, right? I guess, but it was 20 bucks, so can't complain. It's not super thick either, which is nice. It kinda has a weird smell. I need to wash it. Oh yes, you definitely want to order up a few sizes because this is a large and it like just fits me and I'm only five feet tall. Other package, I actually ordered this yesterday and it came in one day, so that's exciting. If you have been watching my channel, my last few vlogs have just been obsessed with this bullet journal. In fact, I'm probably going to bullet journal for a bit after this. However, I don't use it for daily planning because I am obsessed with this one planner brand that I've been using for my planner ever since college and they're so cute and it's like one of those like days of the month planner oh here it is oh it's so pretty it is the lily pulitzer planner i get one every year i love their planners so much indigo lavender type color which is like my favorite color and they just have it just has such pretty prints like you open it up and it has stickers and prints and this is the april spread and i just love like, the watercolors and there's just like a lot of space to write lists because when i fill this out like i am a mess and i just like to chicken scratch so i need something a little bit more structured than a bullet journal because i would just it, like i want my bullet journal to be pretty and when i write to do lists like it's not pretty i literally just filmed this whole clip before and it turns out that I hadn't pressed record on my camera. That is how many brain cells I have left after this read alone. Honestly, I'm really tired right now, but I think it's more of the fact that I didn't sleep last night and then I worked today for many hours other than the readathon. I finally finished Onyx and Ivory. The last 30 pages were rough because I was just like tired. I just wanted to be done and it's like the pressure to finish. Um, that's kind of the thing with readathons that I try to avoid is like me reading because i feel like i have to i always try and align them with the books that i would be reading anyway so that i don't feel pressured because i have noticed that something that i want to try to avoid being on booktube you definitely feel pressure to read certain things and do this and do that so i try and always make it align with my life because booktube shouldn't be taking away from your life it should be adding to it it's my philosophy but yeah i finished this one and i ended up giving it four stars i believe and this was a recommendation from maddie so thank you maddie for sending this book my way because it was really nice and i'm excited to pick up the second one but before i get into anything else i wanted to take a second to do today's challenge i'm literally so exhausted right now but i just needed to take a second it is to talk about a book your favorite book that someone else recommended to you and of course oh my god <laughs> i just hit 10,000 steps because of the me talking with my hands on my fitbit not because i was actually walking anywhere so take that as you will so the book or book series that i wanted to talk about that i think has had the most influence on me that a friend recommended to me is the mortal instruments by cassandra clare and this was of course recommended by my best friend melissa and i just feel like we bonded so much over the series back when we were in high school melissa got me to read the mortal instruments and the infernal devices and we actually got to go see Cassandra Clara when Clockwork Prince came out before, you know, she was like really, really big. She was still very popular back then, but like now she's really popular. And it's just like a book series that I adore so much. It's absolutely one of my favorites, like I'm just an emotional puddle thinking about it. And if Melissa hadn't pushed me to get into Shadowhunters, I never would have read it when I was younger. And then I don't know if, if I hadn't read it when I was younger, maybe I wouldn't have liked it when I went to pick it up in my you know 20s now so i just feel like i owe a lot to melissa for this series and we can just bond over our love of will and gem and tessa and like it just means a lot to me and thank you melissa for always pushing me to be a reader of good books so with that i can now say that i've done all of the challenges first book that i picked up was waiting for spring volume one and this is actually the first ever manga that i've read and it was a really fun experience reading a manga i didn't realize I knew that like comics are quick to read, but it was actually really quick for me to read. But what's nice is I feel like it's just like fun, easy material that you can always go back to, which is cool. Then the next book that I picked up 
after that. What did I even read this week? I can't even remember. Oh, on Monday, I also started the Hate You Gave on audio, and that took me pretty much until today to finish. And it was absolutely amazing. I think it's so powerful, and I think it's a really good tool. Like, I felt like it educated me, and I think that it's really, stories are kind of like one of the most powerful things that we can do to to help us understand one another's circumstances. I just felt like I got to learn a lot by reading it and I definitely think that like I know that schools are making it required reading and whatnot and I think that's so powerful and like I would have loved to read a book like this in high school. I think that it could have really had a lasting impact. I mean it has a lasting impact on me reading it now but I think if like high schoolers are reading this material I think it can make for more socially conscious next generation oh and then the next book i read after that was the tea dragon festival so i read the tea dragon society a few weeks ago as one of my challenges in a book junkie trials like the main team trials and i loved it so much and so i went on over onto net galley to see if i could maybe get a copy of the tea dragon festival and i did i have actually been really trying on net galley to like increase my feedback ratio because right now i've been granted access to like some works and i haven't been able to keep up with it it's just so beautiful it's cute it's an easy read and like i love the tea dragons i personally want a chamomile tea dragon and specifically the mountain chamomile tea dragon because it's very grumpy and it's me um, so I loved, loved, loved that. Amazing. Then I had started Onyx and Ivory and I just finished it now and this was a really good fantasy. It's like, to me it's like a horse girl fantasy but it deals with um, different types of magic. So the main character Kate, not Katie, Kate has wilder magic so she can control animals and mostly horses and it's a really interesting political setup and it was good. Then I read Waiting for Spring Volume 2 and like so adorable i definitely want to read the rest of the series i think there's like 13 volumes in total so like goodbye money then today i read percy jackson and the olympians number one the lightning thief and then i read this while i was at work on audio that was the move because other oh wait <laughs> i forgot i read saga volume one on friday night i can't even remember what i read and this was really interesting a really good first novel that i set in the stage in this like very expansive very unique sci-fi world it's really cool and i'll definitely be checking out the next few volumes i think that i actually so i got on prime day a three month trial for kindle unlimited and so i think that the next few volumes of saga are on that so i might check those out and just read them on my computer um that way i can you know save some cash money and get my use out of my kindle unlimited because I, I don't know if I'll be keeping it after, honestly. But it's always good to try trial. And then, yes, okay, so then today I read Percy Jackson and the Olympians. I read this at work, mostly on audio. I was going to read it on audio at work and then come back and finish whatever I didn't read on audio physically. And it was only like maybe like a half hour reading. It was a very long day at work. So I read, I had enough time that I literally on two times speed got through like this whole book. So it was really nice that I was able to multitask. Yes, okay. So yeah, I just wanted to like maybe end on some thoughts of the Reading Rush slash Booktubeathon and I always have fun and I think again like my philosophy is you always have to make a uh, readathon something that you can fit into your life. You maybe don't like stop your life for it if you want to like that's fine but like it should be something that you stress over and like I was a little bit stressed about reading Percy Jackson today because I was like there, with working there's no way that I'm going to be able to fit this in but the fact that I just was able to get the audiobook is great. Last year when I participated I was only reading print books and the fact that now I'm able to put in different types of media into my TBR because I'm reading different types of media really makes me happy that I'm growing as a reader and expanding to graphic novels, comics, mangas, audiobooks, all that. I just think it like just enhances my life because the more literature the better oh two truths and a lie the lie was that i had come in first place in my two power lifting competitions i came in like second place or something i don't even remember but it wasn't first i still got a cool trip there, but like, it wasn't first place it was like second i think i'm just gonna end the vlog here i don't think i have anything else to talk about do i i just like my brain is melted at this point chaotic end to a chaotic week <laughs> have a good one guys and have some fun read some books and i'll catch you guys in the next one